Good morning. My name's Joshua Nelson. I'm a general field assistant here at the Mars Desert Research Station. In this orientation video, I'll be outlining the power systems here at the Mars Desert Research Station and how to go about turning on the generators. At MDRS, we have three generators, Casper, Wendy, and Honey. Casper and Wendy are diesel generators. They operate off diesel fuel from the large diesel reservoir tank. Honey is a gasoline generator which operates off the gas tank over here. Honey is also our backup generator. Given it's a gasoline generator, it uses significantly more fuel than the two G diesel generators. And it should only be used when your primary diesel generator is offline. The first step in turning on the power system here at MDRS is to come over to our switch panel and turn the switch into the position for the generator you do not want to use. In this case, I will be turning on Casper, and so I have turned the switch into the position for Honey. Once Casper is online, I will turn the switch back into the position for Casper. Until then, though, I will keep it in the position for Honey. Now, Casper, as a diesel generator, is automatically fed its diesel fuel from this diesel feed line. There's never any need to fuel Casper manual. The first step in turning on Casper is to come over here to the control panel and turn the starting switch into the preheat position. You need to preheat Casper for about 30 seconds or more depending on the weather conditions. The colder it is outside, the longer you'll need to preheat. Today, I've already preheat Casper, so I am not going to hold it for the full 30 seconds. Once you've preheated the engine, come over here and open, take off this bungee cord and open that. Now in here, the solenoid switch is bad on Casper, so to turn on Casper, you need to hold down this switch while starting and running the engine. So again, hold this down. It's completely safe. There's no electricity or anything that's going to hurt you. Hold the switch down. And while holding this down, come over here to the main switch and turn it all the way over to prime and run. Before I do that, if Casper will not start, it's possible that you need to use some starting fluid. Starting fluid can be applied by shaking the container and spraying it up into this mushroom shape nozzle right here. Right up into the bottom, like that. Two or three squirts of starting fluid in there should be enough. Now again, to start Casper, hold down the solenoid, come over here to the switch, turn it, turn it and hold it to prime and run. take more time to start it. All that means is you'll have to hold that starting switch for a little bit longer. And then as soon as it sounds like the engine is turning over correctly, release both the priming switch and the solenoid switch. Once you have your generator online and you've switched the power switch into the position for the correct generator, you come over here into the habitat and go to the power panel in the engineering area. It's also important that you make sure that whenever you go to turn on the generators that you have turned all the switches into the off position. Therefore, in case there is a power surge when you turn on the generator, no equipment in the hab will be damaged. Thank you. 
once you turn on the generator, come in here to the engineering panel and come down here to the main breaker. This large switch here, turn it into the left position, which is on. Once you turn that position, switch into the on position, the inverter, this white box right here, should come online. Once the inverter is on, you must wait until the status panel beeps at, to signal it has power. Three to four of these bottom lights should come on once the inverter has recognized the generator and the batteries. Given that this is an orientation video, I'm going to force it to move faster than normal. Now, you might need to come over here and press inverter and then make sure inverter is in the on position. You do that by using the plus and minus keys to move the cursor left and right. Also, press generator and move generator into the on position as well. Once both of those have been in the on position and you see three status lights on, come up here to the breakers and turn the three breakers on. Once these breakers are on and if you've waited long enough with the inverter you should hear the power systems and the heat systems come online. The last step in turning on the power is flipping the main breaker here on the main breaker panel. Flip that main breaker on and you should have power in the habitat. Thank you very much for watching. This is Joshua Nelson, General Field Assistant at the Mars Desert Research Station. Have a fun time.